Hello, this is John with Saul's message for Holy Saturday, April the 8th, 2023. Today he is powerfully reminding us of our true and eternal nature, eternally in the presence of God. Your individual peace fields are all interconnected. As the human collective continues to rush hot foot forward toward the now moment of its most glorious awakening, keep setting and resetting your intent to be only loving whatever arises. Doing just this is enormously powerful. It is your own individual and also the collective's intent for humanity to awaken and that intent is unstoppable and irreversible because it is completely in alignment with God's will for you all. Your awakening is divinely assured. As you wait, pray and meditate enthusiastically and expectantly every day, you know, in spite of any doubts with which your egos may be assailing you, that you are deep into the awakening process and that this is a time to be in good spirits. Yes, you have mood swings, but when you become aware of fearful or unsettling emotions arising before you engage with them, you can welcome them, thank them for their service and release them so that you remain in your natural state of peace. Love is your nature and it always peacefully accepts whatever arises without conditions or judgments and then most beautifully deals with this now moment in whatever manner it transpires for the good of all involved. You do need to remind yourselves frequently of your true nature so that you remain engaged with it in every moment. However, there will be times, perhaps very often, when emotions of an unloving nature arise and your egos rush to your defence, noisily encouraging you to engage with them and make judgments, and seemingly dissolving or destroying your peace of mind. Make a point of having your awareness, your mindfulness, turned on, so that your egos do not manage to rush you into interactions with others that are less than loving, and then leave you in a state of shock when you realize that instead of being loving, you withheld your love, which is always, by its very nature, healing and peacemaking. If this does happen, then as soon as you become aware, forgive yourselves. Do not engage with feelings of guilt and the resultant negative self-judgments, because truly, in that moment, you responded to the best of your ability, as you always do. Everyone makes errors and engages unlovingly on occasion. It's part of being a human in form, experiencing the seeming reality of unreality, separation and fear. The physical state of living in form as a human, illusory or dreamlike as it is, is unreal and therefore anything unloving in which you may engage is also unreal and cannot occur. Yes, it appears to be extremely real, especially if your body becomes physically harmed or damaged, because you constructed this state or condition to appear as real as possible and you did it very successfully. To awaken is coming to a complete understanding of its unreality and to rejoice in the fully conscious awareness that you have never, even for a micro-moment, been separated from the presence of Mother, Father, God. It is like coming home from a long and arduous journey, and in your experience in this now moment that is what is really does appear to be a coming home, and you are, naturally, longing for the journey to be complete. The end, or perhaps the beginning, as you have no previous memory of reality, is very close, and there are signs of this in many places across the world. 
It has become quite apparent to the vast majority of humans that major changes in the way you live and interact with one another, from one-on-one to nation-to-nation, must occur and are occurring worldwide right now. This alone is reason to celebrate. As time unwinds and you live more and more in the now moment, the only time that you can ever experience, feel the peace that is your nature, despite any turmoil that may be manifesting in your vicinity. You are peace, you are love, nothing else is real. And when you are feeling at peace within yourselves, within the consciousness that you experience mainly as your bodies, you cannot possibly remain unaware of this divine truth. Being aware of your consciousness as an eternal beingness of love and peace is what you can access when you go within to your own holy and individual inner sanctuaries as you spend quiet time alone each day. If you can start your day by going within, even if only for a few minutes, to that inner holy space that is within each of you in every moment, it most beautifully prepares you to engage with your day and to deal mindfully and lovingly with all with whom you find yourselves interacting. Your inner sense of peace enormously strengthens your energy fields and others will feel that calm peace emanating from you and be inspired and uplifted in your presence, even though they may not have any conscious awareness of it. Thus your interactions with others will flow far more smoothly than they do when you are, for any reason, not relaxed and at peace with yourselves. It all comes back to just being. That is your major purpose on earth in form at this moment. You, just being, create and provide spaces, areas far larger than you can possibly imagine, in which others feel safe. For most people in form, safety is not a state in which they have many opportunities to participate, to experience, because of their felt need to be alert and on the defensive as they deal with the uncertainties of life and the anxieties with which it seems to constantly present them. Your individual peace fields are all interconnected throughout the world, and as more and more of you allow yourselves to be internally at peace, you enable and encourage others to do likewise, even though this occurs almost totally below your level of conscious awareness, unless you have been consciously choosing for some considerable time to be as mindful as you possibly can in order to assist in the awakening process. You all incarnated to do this, but the cloud of amnesia that enveloped you at the moment of your physical births was very thick or heavy, and has been extremely difficult for most of you to shift or move out of, except for brief moments. That is now changing very rapidly because the tsunami of love flooding planet Earth is continuing to intensify. It has to do this very gently because your physical forms take time to adjust to the infinite power its energy is offering you. And as you become more accepting of the reality that your true and only nature is love, you can more easily adjust yourselves to accept and resonate with it. This is why you are presently incarnate, and you are succeeding magnificently in undertaking the tasks that you each individually volunteered for prior to your present physical lifetimes. You are, each and every one of you, presently incarnate, utterly brilliant beings of light, lightly cloaked so that you do not dazzle those with whom you are so lovingly interacting. Therefore, continue to be loving and offer love whatever arises, so that you may truly enjoy these remaining moments of worldwide chaos and confusion, knowing that all is divinely taken care of. With so very much love, Saul.